Alrighty. So, uh, what do you guys think? What should we do next? I think we should go see the therapist. I think we've earned a therapy session after what we just went through. And, uh, I won't give you guys any spoilers, but, you know, um, there's, uh, things don't end well for us eventually with the, uh, therapist. Let's just say that. Too soon to bring up tennis. Soon I'm not getting another coach anytime soon. <laughs> so I need someone to play with. Worried my grip is getting loose. I will have to play uh, tennis some other time. Come on, is there a car here anywhere I can steal? Hi. Michael. My money, where is it? Do you do not want me to visit you again? Next time will be so much worse. MM. Oh, go piss up a rope. There has to be a faster way, right? The, than uh, all this running and a hooting and a hollering. Come on now. Can someone just ride a car up on the beach here, please? Whatever, your car will do. Hey, stop. That's right. You know who's boss. Your car is mine now. All right. That's Lester. Let's see. Where is the therapist? Can we not go see him yet? Uh. Well, oh, oh, there it is. There's the shrink. We'll go see the shrink, and then after that, we'll go do the Lester mission. Shrink's not too far away, so. Ah, uh, but how are you guys liking the stream so far? Are you guys, uh, oh my god, out of the way. Uh, are you guys enjoying it? You guys loving the stream? Where the heck was that guy doing? Did you see that? Oh my god, that was some terrible driving. Now what? Screwed the road. I've got a shortcut. Yep, nope. Ah! I thought I had a shortcut. Oh well. And now I have a shortcut. And plan to rack up on Even though it's the same route it wanted me to go before. In line for a phone. We'll find out. A Vinewood Hill stilt home designed by famous architect Teuton collapsed yesterday. Seismologists did not notice any unusual activity, and the house passed inspection just last year. And here we are. We are at Michael's Shrink. So let's see uh, what I look. I mean, look at this car. Okay. I think I'm the best GTA 5 driver in the world, right? No. No. Absolutely not. In fact, probably shouldn't even, uh, if, if, uh, if GTA 5 was the real world, I probably wouldn't even have a license. Come in, Michael. Yeah, thanks, Doc. All right, let's see what issues good. Michael wants to address been now. Good. He's got a lot of them. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I, I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know? Shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family. My son. <laughs> My daughter, my wife, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually, it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I, I pulled this Mexican episodes right off the fucking hill. Calling it nicely. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I got to make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other 
violent urges, friend? Yeah, I mean, I've had good days, Doc, but mostly they've just been really bad days. They're doing really bad things, you know, hurting people. You're a very sick man, Michael. I'm doing all I can, but we need more sessions. You think? I really just want to be happy, Doc. Is that so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behavior? Oh, dear. I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly it's true. enjoying myself here. Now, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I can get my ass into situations where, where you getting get killed. killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? Who's exactly asking, Doc? I love how they're casually asking my about murder. Who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? Oh. I pay nah. you to listen to my problems. I wouldn't call them up. I'm rich. I'm miserable. Half the time my kids can't stand me. The other half, my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. I'm pretty average for this town. That's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This... I think... No, no, I know. That I'm just Therapist, is that enough? That I'm, I'm sure you are, but... That's really all we have time for. <laughs> Some therapist. Probably charge him like a thousand bucks an hour, too. See you next time. Okay. Well, there you go. One therapy is done. Director, mode actor, unlock, Dr. Friedlander. Interesting. <laughs>